Hello and welcome to another episode of FPV News. I'm just your average hobbyist, and spring is in the air. That means it's crash season, or race season for the rest of you. And in this episode, we're going to figure out what the buzz is all about. We're going to talk about a little deuce, and our goggles get night vision. So let's check the radar. Most of us have that number one quad we love to fly. Well, this next company wants to be your number two. Little Deuce. It's a one to three S drone. It takes two to two and a half inch props and has 1103 10,000 kV motors. It can take a 16 by 16 millimeter stack or any all-in-one whoop 24 to 26 millimeter pattern. All built up, it weighs just under 40 grams. So pick one up today and you can take a Little Deuce anywhere you go. Flying its way into the news this month is Foxeer with the Foxeer Cat. It's a true night vision FPV camera and has a 2 megapixel CMOS starlight sensor, which makes it one of the best sensor resolution cameras available right now. So if you do night flying or night races, you should definitely think about picking up the Foxeer Cat. Well, Emax is at it again with the Emax Buzz. This is a 5 inch drone and it has 2306, 2400 kV motors for the 4S version and 1700 kV motors for the 5 and 6S version. This drone has the Magnum Stack 2 in it. The Magnum Stack 2 runs the Omnibus F4 firmware and has a 4 in 1, 32 bit, 3S to 6S ESC and can handle 45 amps. The Buzz has a Cadex S1 camera, and the VTX can go from 0 pit mode, 25, and 200 milliwatts power. Now this next item is really going to change the industry if people start to like it. It's the Diatone Mamba Power Tower. It's an F4 flight controller and an all-in-one 40 amp ESC for $45. It can handle 3 to 6S and it's a 30 by 30 millimeter stack. Now having an all-in-one component like this priced so low is really going to make other companies think about their products and we'll see if they start cutting corners or if they just lower prices or maybe the industry as a whole will drop down a little bit to stay competitive. Maybe it's going to increase volume. Either way, it's looking good for us consumers. Another company coming out with a great bind and fly quad is Archangel. This is the next version in their limited edition DR1 lineup. And these are the macro, mini, and micro drones. They all come with a 20 by 20 millimeter stack with an F4 flight controller and a 40 amp ESC. On the mini and macro drones, the VTX is mounted on the side, so it makes it really simple to see what channel frequency you're on, and at the push of a button right there, change that channel. If you've ever seen these fly around, they're also really cool to watch, even in the middle of the daytime, because they have a really killer lighting system on them. Now if you're looking for more information on the Archangel drones, keep an eye on your average hobbyist and click that subscription button, because we're going to have an FPV inside look. Well, if you're wondering what the future holds for drone racing, so are the people at Hydra FPV. They're trying to create an interactive app where you can do everything from find races, race results, watch live feeds, even play Fantasy FPV Pilot. They're really trying to push programs towards schools to get the kids involved, as well as major eSports. So download the Hydra FPV app today and we'll see what the future has. If you need a new frame for the race season, I know I'm going to need a couple, take a peek at the Fusion frame. It's made by Cristiano, aka Fusion FPV. The arms come in 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch length and are 5 millimeters thick. The canopies have three different styles to them and they did talk about multiple colors. You can pick one up today from Fusion Drones for $49.99. If you're looking for a frame and live in Europe, Check out fpvframe.ch. They have everything from 5 inch to 3 inch, long range freestyle racing, even a Cinewhoop. So you can definitely give them a shot if you don't live in North America. But no matter where you live, you should definitely check out Supertech. They just dropped another line of shirts. Some of them are a throwback, another nod to Akira, the uh, anime movie, and this little gem. I think all of us in this hobby are a different level of nerds 
And so I can really relate to this because I love my video games and I think it speaks to our different personalities and different flight characteristics. So check out Super Tech for some more fresh gear. And now it's time for our featured pilot. Today it's Mr. Jack. He flies for tattoo batteries and he loves to fly with a cinematic style flow to it. He comes from the Bay Area and flies with the Bay Area Quad Squad, which is basically just a group of guys that try to do weekly meetup, hang out, troubleshoot, encourage people to fly, and all around support our community. So everybody, please go check him out on YouTube and Instagram and anywhere else you see him and meet up with the BAQS sometime if you're ever in the area. And that's gonna do it for this month's episode of FPV News. If you haven't already seen my interview with Brain FPV, I highly suggest you do so. He may be an electrical engineer and she may be a neuroscientist, but they're really nice down to earth people and they're making some great products for the industry. I do have some Drop 6 motors, compliments of Drone Drop. Thank you so much for the motors. And we need to give them away to somebody. So please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Until next time, thank you so much and keep ripping packs.